Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, January 5th. I'm Marv Eisen of Timeless Dollar. And starting out today, as I do every day, is looking at the Market Watch economic calendar for any announcements that are going to be market moving. And the FOMC minutes are going to be market moving. So at 2 p.m. or shortly before 2 p.m., look for the market to shake up, shake down, and we'll see where it lands. It's going to be a um, very volatile time around 2 p.m. today, so you might want to sit on the sidelines. You should definitely watch the action to see what happens, especially if you are re relatively new to market trading. Moving over to the economic news, the morning news on CNBC, flags are basically in the red, but uh, sort of flat, not really, not really down. S&P futures down five and three quarter points is basically a, a flat index, as is the Dow at uh, 21 off uh, the close of the previous day. Now moving on to the big picture, this is the S&P on a daily chart back from August, and I have a line of resistance for the period from August up to this was yesterday's trading. January 4th and we can see that we have a, a significant shadow to the downside the market did make a new high yesterday but I think that was more for window dressing than anything else uh, I, I don't think the market has much steam left in this current run up remember running up to the end of year the market was taken down and then moved up nicely to the end of year basically tracking our resistance line and for the for the uh, next few days from the new year on to today we're basically not really gaining much in terms of upward gains if you were a long-term investor that would be uh, maybe meaningful to you but uh, for day traders we we're talking about the daily action and speaking of daily action here we are yesterday january 4th and the market started up above the close of the previous day, which was this horizontal line, and yesterday presented a nice gap trade opportunity, which was filled at about 11 a.m., an hour and a half after the market opened, after a significant amount of volatility back and forth uh, for the first hour or so of the market after the market opened. Uh, yet the gap trade was a successful trade yesterday. After that, well, if you were still trading, the market continued to decline to the middle of our trading range, which of course uh, remained accurate and closed right about closed right about where the market closed previously on January 3rd. So basically flat, basically flat from the previous day. But the trade yesterday was the gap trade. Uh, at any rate, let's see what happens today. If you would like to know that today's numbers for the trading zone, I've uh, started a new service that you can uh, check out on my website, timelessdollar.com, and you'll get the daily trading zone numbers each day to set up your chart, as I have here with the trading zone support and resistance. And uh, of course, I always put the close of the previous day up because the gap trade closes 75% of the time. Uh, which is about as good a, an odds as you can get for a particular trade. So, and you should learn, you should have your own trades that you favor and are familiar with, so that you can pursue those and not just haphazardly place trades. This is Marv Eisen of Timeless Dollar. I'll see you on my next trading session, which is tomorrow, January sixth. And trade safely. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.